Okay, here we go. All right, I guess Dave will show up at some point. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe he's here already. Yeah, let me just uh, tidy up a little bit here. Um, turn my cursor on. There we go. All right, so let's start with Lori. Hepatic canager. Hmm. Yeah. You got him looking right at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Won't be the only staring at me out of yeah. these five. So. Yeah. <laughs> I see you're saying you use Topaz now. How are you doing on that? Well, I just use the AI. That's that's all. Oh, you it's see Topaz the Topaz AI. Okay. I, yeah. I'm not sure, what you were using? Okay. Yeah, just just the AI. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Yeah. So you don't have any. I don't know. Are there any? Do you use any program to make things lighter or darker or that edited? Well, I didn't really do anything to the to the orange or much. Uh, it's just a crop. I was kind of I was only using a three hundred lens, and mm -hmm. um, so when I get them in focus and they're that far away, I like am very happy. I hear you. But do you think I, just... I could have maybe darkened them? Oh, no, I was thinking maybe like a vignette of the background a little bit so you stay on the bird more. But I don't mm. know if you have the ability to do that in any of your programs. If you don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm finally learning uh, Photoshop. I haven't oh. started in a Lightroom yet. But... Okay. Maybe lighten that. Um, branch behind it. Um, I had almost it down. If anything, I darkened this up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Just, All right. Thanks. Yeah, you know, and then just do an overall darkening, you know, around the yeah. part just a little bit to bring your eye into him because there's yeah. light areas to bounce around now. Okay. Yep. Let's move on here. Okay, I think when you're using AI, you're going a little too sharp. You see this okay. little edge you're getting on? Yeah. Yeah. And these well, rocks, also rocks. those edges, those are also trees. Yeah, I understand, but there, there, there's a telltale edge. See that white? Ah. Uh, Between yeah. the sky and the, and the mountains? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a sharpening telltale uh, artifact. Yeah. So, and, so that's just burning. a little, that's over sharpening. Yeah, okay. yeah, and, and the rocks and everything look just a little too overdone. Okay. Yeah, so maybe just kind of pull that down a little bit. A lot of times it'll suggest, you know, um, a setting, and then what you do is just bring it up one to one and zoom around and you know pan around and see if you're getting any artifacts. And if you are, then you can open up those areas and, and just back them off, especially detail and sharpening. I'd start yeah. with sharpening first, so that's. Looks like it's a little too much. Okay. okay. Nice shot. Thanks. Where's, where's this at? Um, on the way up to Madeira. Oh, okay. just oh, on see. the road. It's I like see. I think it's like the backside of uh, oh, yeah. Elephant Head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I see it. Don't get that view too often. Yeah, I like the angles. You know. Yeah, and I did lighten mm -hmm. up the trees in front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Replace like the sky splash. too. Yeah, yeah. Splash of green there. Yeah, it works out. You didn't change the sky; you just lightened. I did. I replaced it. It was oh, solid. That, it was solid blue. That, so that, that, you know, this, you're getting that edging too. Did you do that? Yeah. For the oh. yeah. 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 So I'm getting the edging on the sky too. Then, huh? Yeah, it might be. What do I do about that? Yeah. When I replace the sky. Yeah, let me get to one that we can try. Uh, let's see. At some point, because this one's already mucked up. But well, you know yeah. what? Let's, let's see if we can do something with it. All right, so I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Um, drop my rulers. Get rid of some of this junk here.
I don't use replace sky in Photoshop much, but it's under image. I can't even remember. Uh, edit. Uh, edit. Uh, edit, yeah. Okay. Yeah, about halfway down. And, yeah. All right. I know it makes a bunch of, uh, well, that's different enough that we can tell. Uh, okay. Now, did you do the photo AI before or after you changed the sky? Probably after. Yeah. That's a, so I don't think it then it was the AI because I'm looking now with this new uh, yeah this new one and I'm not getting it. it hmm. It's letting it pretty well. See, there's, there's so it right. was the AI that caused it then. Yeah. That so what do you think about the sharpening on the mountain? Did that yeah that cleared. Well, it's still there a little. Right. Yeah, see, if I go yeah. back to the original and then I replace it with this, yeah, it's now it's a good job of masking. So I guess one way to fix it would be to just put another sky in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I can do the job. Sharpen, sharpen but, it and then the sky or the sky and then sharpen? Yeah, no, do your sharpening first and ideally do it in, if you're shooting raw, do the raw image first. But if you're not, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. And before you do anything. Uh, go into photo AI first. That's huh, okay. Flow and then go into Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So try that. Yeah. So let me just, I guess I move that off. There we go. Yeah. Right. Kind of colored That's... that too, I guess, huh? Let's see if I could find the original and go um, through it. Yeah, the colors there. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that would be the workflow on that. So you don't get that. And then again, just don't always go with the settings they tell you or suggest automatically. There is an edge adjustment on the on the bottom of the page there of of the sky replacement. Oh, is there? Yeah, but we could come do that a different time. Yeah, it looked like it did a really nice job though. Uh, but yeah. not from, so this this isn't from sky replacement. This is from over sharpening, which is what I suspect. Right. Yeah. So if if I go, let's see. Let me just take another image here. Let's take this one. Um, of course, it's a JPEG, so it probably not have as much latitude. But uh, it was <laughs> later. I guess it's time to update again. Okay. So. Um, Generally, if you open your sharpen here and look at their standard drawings, you have strength and clarity. And, and sometimes, you know, let's say if it came up too hard, can't see my date. There we go. Um, or maybe we go strong and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not seeing it on this image. There's there's probably not enough contrast difference to, mm -hmm. to tell. Also, you can go over like two two or four hundred percent to get close to those edges and take a look. Doesn't seem to be bothering this one. Yeah, we're getting just a hint of it here. Yeah. Yeah, if I, if I really started cranking this up. You know, you might it looks like seeing it. last week when I when I saw it, somebody had like little lines mm -hmm. in the background. Do you see the same thing? Almost looks like cloth, like ah, uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you can see how those edges are getting a little too sharp there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just want the standard. Yeah, after it scans, it just there, kind of pull it down there. a little. There's this mark here. That's what they suggest. So if you click on that, it'll take it back down to what they suggest. Um, but sometimes it might be up here, which is too much, you know. And then you've got clarity too, which you can also play around with. Let's just crank that up and see what it does. Yeah, it kind of brings this stuff up nicely. But yeah, I, I would just make sure you open this up with this little carrot here and just look it over uh, and, and see what the settings are. 
that'll kind of give you a pretty good idea. The other thing uh, as well is when it says subject detected, you know, you may want to see what the subject is. So um, in this case, it seems to be spilling out past mm -hmm. where you want it. So you, mm -hmm. you can go in and, uh, and refine here, hit refine, and then that way you can add or subtract. So if you Oops. hit subtract here, get large, you know, um, you know, you can start knocking these out. It's basically that I can start clicking on them. It'd be nice if you could just airbrush them out. But it doesn't seem to be the case here. All right, I'm going to cancel out of this. So that'll give me an idea how that works. Yeah. Okay. Not getting too heavy into it. All right, so now we're on this image, uh, which is lovely, by the way. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Now, yeah. I know there's that green coming down into the leaf, but um, I kind of liked it because it gives it like a little bit of depth or something. It shows the leaf is behind the um the or that the yeah that the yellow leaf is behind the green leaf. Yeah. And I did take a lot of other stuff out and now I'm looking at that little stick um coming yeah. from the small one. Well that and one, one and yeah. yeah. Yeah both of those I would probably think about either blurring heavily or removing them. Um, this one you can either crop out or just blur the hell out of it. And this one you can either clone out or blur as well. But yeah. I'm maybe just cloning it out would take care of it. Sure. Yeah, good call. Other than that, you've got some nice fall off and your eyes coming over here. Anybody else have any comments on this one? Okay. I like the colors. In it. I like the blur that's behind it. I like the colors in it. Yeah, yeah. I like the way yeah. that it's bleeding in. Obviously, these were mm -hmm. out of focus in the foreground. It's kind of nice too. Yeah, that's a Madeira painter too. I just stepped outside the casita. I was staying up there. Just stepped oh. out the casita, and it was just right there. So nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, lots well, of these guys up there are gals. There were <clears throat> there was a lot of grass going up um, into the body, and there were a couple that were just going across the face. So I just fixed this one up last night, and I think it, it's a lot better without all that grass higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Did you do something here, or is that natural? No, that's natural. Okay. I'm maybe This guy, I opened, again, I was staying up there. I opened the door in the morning yeah. and there was a whole family just munching right outside my door. Sure. Is that just munching on stuff. <laughs> Surprised the heck out of me. Yeah. <laughs> and so I just kind of was, you know, did my stealth and followed them. <laughs> so which which place did you stay? I stayed in uh the casitas at Santa Rita Lodge. Yeah. I got there for like Thanks. five days. Oh, nice. Six, five five oh. nights at a time. Yeah. Yeah, we were just up there a few days ago. Uh, yeah, it's nice. A little cooler too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had the broken foot. I had to cancel my trip there in, in July. So uh, bummer. Going in October again. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. All right. Thanks. So, Dave, how you doing? Nope. Oh, I guess you didn't hear me. All right. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, yeah. if you get the, <laughs> you get the Green Valley news, you've probably seen this one already. Yeah, I mm. did. I think I sent you oh, a congratulations yeah. mail on this one. <laughs> oh, thanks. Mm. Yeah. That's a great catch. Yeah. yeah. That's a great thanks. Good for yeah. This was even before I knew what the heck I was doing. It's like back <laughs> in 2011 when I was just starting out in photography. Oh. Mm. First. DSLR first real yeah. camera. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. I had gotten the whole bird and then like for that for the news for the newspaper. Um I was like, mm, I want to do something a little different. So it was sharp enough that I could 
crop it like this and um mm -hmm. still go big enough yeah yeah thanks good yeah that's a nice one Unfortunately, I really get angry at these guys when they start eating my lizards. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you you get the oddest timing. You know, all of a sudden, a photo just appears in front of you. I yeah. was just coming out of physical therapy at La Posada and mm -hmm. happened to have my camera. It wasn't too hot, so I had my camera in the car. And yeah. I saw this guy just moving around. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and so... Yeah. You know, sometimes you just get lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Nice. Well, thanks for bringing those in and welcome back. Thank you. All right. Um, anyway, let's go to Jim Bowman and then we'll work our way around because I know Jim wants to be out of here by three. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hmm. This is up at Arcadia, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Arcadia is uh, kind of a low lowland marsh area, and um, there's lots of swans uh, in quite a few places. So uh, this is what it looks like, and I just turned it into mm -hmm. this is a topaz. Uh, Degas is the the artist uh, filter on it. Mm -hmm. And um, the rest is sort of kind of you can make out of it whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. It works out well. That's a lot of swans. Yeah. Yeah, That's nice. yeah there's, there's a significant. It's like swan heaven over there. Yeah. I don't think I've seen more than two or three in any place. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I like the fill. I like the preset you put on it. That just gives it a nice feel. Mm -hmm. oh, the what? The pre the filter the day God dancers filter. Oh right. Yeah. It right. really looks like a painting. Mm -hmm. which, program, painting. which program did you use for this? Topaz. Oh okay. Thanks. Yeah, and a filter called Dega. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. too bad. Studio. That's appropriate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was their, one of their early programs uh, before they got into doing all the AI stuff. I wish yeah. they would support it. Really. I, I kind of like the old fashioned stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is Lake Michigan, obviously, mm -hmm. just kind of a, a walk down the beach. And, uh, just a kind of a pleasant view. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, movement on the on the grass. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Got enough. Uh, I don't. You know, the sand was sort of. I didn't want it to be too dark or too light. You know. Mm -hmm. What's cool about this is the angles, especially. I mean, everything's cool about it, but I I like mm -hmm. the you know the angle of the sand, ver you know, um, against the uh, mm -hmm. the lake, being you know perfectly horizontal, and then the angles of the grasses going opposite the sand. So it's yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's very very cool. I, I yeah. like it. Yeah. And the clouds in the sky are also tilted opposite to the sand. Yeah. Too. Yeah. A nice, a nice tranquil shot there, Jim. Yeah. 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 Just. Yeah, that's what it's kind of lazy summer. This is where we're in now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I feel for you guys down in Arizona. Uh, yeah, Arizona. That. Ah, oh, come on! It's only a hundred two today. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, you're getting yeah. way down there now. Yeah. <laughs> I love when they say, you know, the meteorologists on TV, oh, it's going to get cool today. Yeah, and right. it's still going to be like 100, 300, 4. Yeah, right. I guess everything's <laughs> relative yeah. after it's 112. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Ooh. Ooh. Nice. 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 Yeah, so this yeah. is um, what they call Big Sable. And uh, it's about 20, 30 miles from here. Mm -hmm. And um, again, just a evening shot with uh, the light, just um, the light on the lighthouse, just being having been turned on. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I love the composition. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Beautiful. So this is um, a, um, it's a kind of a abstract of algae on the side of the building of the uh, lighthouse. Cool. Near the water. Now, this is not the one you just saw, but it's it's another one. Mm -hmm. A bit of a Van Gogh brushwork here. Yeah. Is is this the Degas or the yeah? Yeah, do they have a Van Degas Gogh again? Mm. Yeah, uh, nice yeah. brushwork. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The um, the algae just kind of made a green and a darker brown and a light, yeah. lighter brown and then the then the lighthouse itself was kind of like that gray mm. textures are wonderful yeah the only thing that one of the things that i don't mind all the little white spots around except that one smack in the middle my eye keeps okay. going to that okay this one here yeah, yeah. sure yeah. yeah well i can pick yeah there's a few others but well, those do, those don't bother me because you can see they're on the plants and stuff. But my eye goes right to the center of the screen, right. you know. So yeah. that's the only. Okay. Nice. Another Lake Michigan. Uh, just the the skies are this time of year can really be spectacular, mm -hmm. and this was after the rain. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful shot. Yeah, it's a really good one. Nice. Nice collection this time, Jim. Yeah. Pat yourself on the back. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Good excuse to get out of the house, too, right? Yeah. Right. Well, let's see. I guess we'll go down to Kim. I'm just kind of jump around today. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, just Choya uh, blossoms, Choya flowers. Uh, and then I took this into Chopaz into studio also and applied two different filters. One was the sunny day preset, sunny day filter. Um, and then I use the impressionism um, filter on it also just to, but mm -hmm. the, sky, the sky was that color. It just, the both filters just brought the blues out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. dark mm -hmm. it. Huh. it didn't really. Artifacting on the edges from the filters. You can probably just. Oh yeah. Huh. Out pretty quickly. Interesting. Yeah, it's easy to do. Yeah, that? it's great. Or you can just crop in a little bit. What yeah, else? just crop it out. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 One little one. Uh -huh. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, a desert spiny lizard. This Ooh, guy was at, yeah. um, at Desert Meadows Park. I was there a few weeks ago. All my stuff. Mm. Is, um, and he was pretty, he wasn't moving around a whole lot. He was willing to just kind of pose for a few minutes. Mm. So I kept moving a little closer and a little closer. I think those, those things are huge. Yeah. I think those type uh, do push-ups. 
They do. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually got a picture of him in push-up mm. push yeah. pose with the leg with his front <laughs> legs extended. Yeah. Wrap it more. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh. That looks a little close. Yeah. Yeah. You can come out a little further if you want. But yeah, I think there's just maybe a little too much. Get rid of some of that. I'm breaking this yeah. down yeah. a little bit. And then I would yeah. probably darken this one down quite a bit because my okay. is going on this angle, especially since it's parallel. Okay. Yeah. And got the blue under his chin there on his chest. Yeah. I... And I, you know, I brought up that color just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Just so you could uh, see it better. But yeah, I thought that was yeah. really. I yeah. didn't realize they had that color to them until I was looking at the, you know, taking the picture, the shots. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the males that have that. Yep. Yeah, nice. Yeah, a little hint of it in here, too. Well, that might be a reflection from the sky. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. oh, this I is got lucky. This was in the, yeah, this was in the e-blast from the paper. This this was actually on my iPhone. Really? Um, and just standing out at the end of our driveway a few nights ago and pure yeah. luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's hard to get them Amazing. the trigger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I didn't even see the one portion of it or the loop portion of it until I looked, you know, I didn't catch that with my mm -hmm. eye as I was taking the picture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, you can get you can get around these, around around. Wow! You can get these triggers that will capture capture yeah. most of them. Yeah, even with the phone. No, uh, no, no, not with the phone. But if you go, yeah, with, yeah, I, I I've done it. I don't have a trigger, but I have to managed to get some use it. You know, with my regular camera. But so far, most of the lightning strikes have been in the front of our out looking out front, and I don't have the cover of the roof to keep myself from getting wet if it decides to start <laughs> raining. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, when was the when was this storm? Uh this was on the 26th, I think. 26th or 27th. Yeah. Hmm. Not too not too far. Oh, you're back. getting a little yeah. rain. We had a couple yeah, we got four tenths of an inch the other day. Not a whole lot, mm -hmm. but at least it's some. Yeah. yeah. Well that's I, a lot for us. That's right. Yeah, um, it is. I process this actually on my phone with just with Apple's yeah. um, edit yeah. portion in there, you know, on the photos yeah. part. Yeah, it works pretty well for some things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you ever want to capture and you don't have a trigger and you've got a tripod, I usually like to go like a quarter, half, or even a second, you know, when it's a little darker, stop down okay. so that you are you know, exposed for the background and then maybe even just a little underexposed, like half to two thirds underexposed, so lightning is going to be bright. And uh, mm -hmm. a lot of times when you start seeing it, um, you know, just start clicking it, you know, and you, it's kind of catch as catch can if it's during sure. the lightning, you know, you'll, you'll get a lot more than just trying to react because by the time you hit the shutter, it's gone. Mm -hmm. anyway. So that's what I used to do before I had a trigger and uh -huh. pretty well. All right. Hmm. And nice. little lan uh, lantana blossoms. And I use it. It must have it must be a day god day. This is the day god <laughs> smelter. And then also the uh buzz sim split tone filter mm -hmm. from both of our topaz. Hmm. A nice soft feel. Yeah. He's everybody's using topaz. I might have to look into that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They've got apparently some beautiful filters. That's yeah. Since since you own AI, you might be able to download it. It's kind of in an off section. You'll have to look for it. But uh, yeah. Yeah. It, as long as you are registered as a user with one of their products, I think you can still activate it. Oh, I haven't tried because I've, yeah. I've had it since you know it was new, so I don't know. Yeah, but I imagine, um, yeah, you can activate it as long as you have an active uh program with them. Yeah. I don't know if they're still calling it Studio Two. 
Yeah. Or not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you got to look for it. Um, I don't remember if it's in downloads. I think you just have to do a, a search really? to in their site. Okay, cool. Give it a try. Yeah, doing? Maybe toward the end, I can uh, take a look and see if we can find it. And then this guy was just last month sometime was in our backyard. I, it's a, I'm assuming it's a rock pigeon, but he's a bit you know, he's got more white. He's not quite albino, but mm -hmm. kind of a cross between. What's a seagull? Mm -hmm. So I... Yeah, it does have a coloration of a seagull, kind of, but it doesn't look anything like a seagull. Yeah. Like well, just, he's a desert seagull. He's a desert <laughs> seagull. There you go. <laughs> That's what that slow cremation will do to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Just just an unusual, you know, unusual look to the bird. So I had to grab mm -hmm. some yeah. pictures of him. And that ring around the eye just really yeah, pops it's, it's out. Really, yeah. So is that a little feeder block? Yes. Yeah. 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 So made himself a, is that all him or <laughs> something else? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's others, you know, the okay. quail and everybody else. <laughs> so I, haven't re I haven't replaced it because we wanted to get rid of the doggone pigeons. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> they've been kind of camping yeah. out. So. Yeah, and then if it sheds, you get the pack rats too. So Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's see. I guess we'll go down and then start back up to the top again. Okay, so Paula, see what you got today. Mm. That was taken from a plane on our way to California mm. a while ago. Mm. And I just brought out the snow a little bit and mm. did some stuff with the sky. Mm -hmm. I like the atmospheric effect, though. It's just kind of fading. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to get a good shot from the window, but with the diffraction mm. and everything. Yeah. Nice. That works. And it works though. I, I would have almost thought that you'd taken part of it and create turned it into a black and white. Then you said that was snow. Oh, so yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Snow on the mountains. Not this week. No. no. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let me make this yeah. one clear. This is a covered bridge near in my hometown back in Maine. And okay. I went and used the oil painting filter on it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, great texture and pattern mm. on the wood. Yeah. yeah. It's quite weathered. Mm -hmm. At 1870? 18, 1872, and that's the yeah. second one that was in that spot. Oh. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. uh, it looks like it's set up just for walking. It's just not it a drive-through bridge. Exactly. Yeah. No, there's yeah. another bridge uh, to the left of it. There's this just for walking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe a river down below? Yeah, there something? is a river down in the lower uh -huh. right there. Nice. I like how it picked up some purple up here in the top. Well, the trees. yeah, some of the trees. And then I did darken the sky because it was just yuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this texture helps break it up. Yeah. 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 Looks like a mountain, be you know, rocks behind it with that. Too. Yeah. Well, that's another reason I put it in the, the filter because the sky was just luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it certainly works now. Okay. It's nice. Wow. And this is a flower with the, the bee in the center there. And oh. again, I put it in oil painting, but I adjusted the settings a little differently. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I didn't notice the bee at first. That's a, <laughs> oh, a plus. Yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. So, Laurie, there's a oil painting filter in Photoshop. 
um, amongst other filters that you could play with uh, if uh, you can't get topaz. So you might be able to play with those a bit. Still working on their Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you look in the filter section in Photoshop, you'll find all the painting. Yeah. Yeah. And then wow. I started. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And I, I took, yeah, this is another one I used the same filter with. Okay. I used a different, sort of made it a matte board type on the background and darkened it a little bit. And then. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really is. Wow. Oh. This I oh. took just for the uh, reflection because it looked like a face mm. in the water and then they had this oh. bug towards the end and like a bug on it. So I just oh. was mm. playing with this one. Mm. Mm. Where's this at? Disneyland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say it looks the background fake. Is the background is the side yeah. of the castle. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looks like an Egyptian mummy lying down. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what attracted me to it. So I just yeah. took it and played with it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. Looks kind of like a Japanese painting too. The first mm -hmm. look I got of it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Probably one of the few pictures you could get there that you don't have people in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, nice. Disney, today they'd probably be swimming in the moat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. This is just a teeny little picture, but I just pulled it in so we can. So here's your filter section, Lori. And uh, there's a gallery where you can go through a whole bunch of things. And then you've got all these different effects as well. Yeah. I'm familiar with the effects, but the yeah. gallery is. What I've never found the neutral filters yeah, in, in the filter gallery. That's where all your stuff is. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Your, your, your brush strokes and distortions, and you, you can do sketching, and they give you a little icon so you get an idea what they look like. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Cancel that. Yeah, just quickly, let's see here. Yeah, that's it on that. Well, thanks. All right, let's go to Wendell. Okay. Okay, uh, this is uh, the train, old train station in Barstow, California. And I used a topaz filter on it, but I lost my note of which one it was, but it's whether sort of a painting uh, type uh, mm -hmm. presets. But anyway, I, I liked the color and the... Mm -hmm. the yeah. Looks like one of those, no, those like, old tinted postcards. Yes, no yeah, yes. <laughs> that's very pretty. Yeah, it'll check the color look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's what attracted to me to it because it could have been a postcard back in the yeah. 1930s or some time yeah. when this was yeah. an active station. I think it's currently an Amtrak stop. Yeah, but... Memory serves me well. The station in Ajo is almost identical to this. The old station. Oh, oh, okay. I, oh. I was looking at it, and then I saw the Barstow on there. I went, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quite a bit like that. There's okay. no people, Wendell. No. Not well, a soul around. Well, this was <laughs> on Father's Day, and we'd gone down there to a Oh, there was a car museum and an old railroad museum, uh -huh. but they were all closed because of the uh, either Sunday or the time of day we got there. Uh -huh. So uh, it was pretty much deserted. Yeah. But anyway, I, I did use a Photoshop sky on it because oh. the original sky was just pretty plain. Oh. But I also got the lines. So anyway. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was just a succulent in a little pot 
beside a store in Carmel, California. And I had one before. Uh, this one is a little different. And I had the one little smaller flower down at the bottom there. And I didn't know if that was a distraction or not, mm -hmm. but it's perfect. Seems, yeah, it does seem to kind of anchor the, mm -hmm. the bigger mm -hmm. flower off right. to the border. So, uh, anyway, beautiful plants. And, mm -hmm. uh, th this was actually taken with a phone, too. So, and then I totally got rid of the background mm -hmm. using it's perfect, Wendell. Yeah, well, thank yeah, you. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. love the, the colors and then the color variation going from that green to the kind of yeah. pink magenta. Just yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that I uh, lucked out. Not all of the plants were like that. But anyway, <laughs> I do like these things. I guess they grow better where they got a little moisture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like the texture change, too. Just out of curiosity, yeah. uh, Wendell, yes. how did how do you get the black? I see. I'm stupid. How do you get the black background? Is it when you're shooting? Did no. you just cut that somehow? Uh, no, there were other flowers <laughs> behind it. What I did is, I think, uh, just used the object selection tool in Lightroom or Photoshop and the camera mm -hmm. raw, and it picked out just what you see there. And then I just, I think I may have had to darken the background twice go all the way to the darkest one time and then save it and then bring it back in and go through the same thing again to get it all totally cleared out. But uh, that was like a two minute task to do that because it did such a good job of selecting the subject. Yeah. So when you selected it, did you use like um, smooth or feather or anything on the edges? Uh, no. No. Uh, well, I guess in this case, it was just uh, the straight one that uh, in the brushes or the, well, I don't remember what the uh, tool is that's yeah. got the brushes and the selections. Yeah. Here, let's, uh, let's see if we can find it. So if you're in Photoshop, you would yeah. filter and then go to camera raw. Yeah. Okay. And in there, up here, you've got your localized filters here. Yeah. Uh, masking, yeah, localized oh. masking, not filters. So you can select subject, but you'll probably, yeah, that, or you can go to objects, yeah, and uh, yeah, I might have just used the subject on this one, yeah. But, I think if you just kind of paint it, uh, yeah, you'll find it, yeah, there you go, yeah. So everything that's covered in blue, or I can make it uh, red to make it a little easier. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, is uh, selected. You know, so then if you invert that, uh, then you can yeah. start yeah. The, the, the background. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do, do the invert. So, so when, you, yeah. when you have this mesh, there's these three little dots here. And if you click on that, there's invert mask. Mm -hmm. So that's where you would do that. Yeah. Oh. And, all okay. right. So, so say yeah. you wanted a dark and you could just grab the exposure and take it all the way down. Or whatever. Yeah. You know, and wow, glow know. in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So that's how you would do that. Okay. And then, Wendell, you, yes. you have uh, borders that you seem to add to your pictures, uh, a mat or something. Well, yeah. What I do is I just use the. Uh, in Photoshop, in the image uh, tab, uh, there's uh, image size and canvas size. And so uh, I use the canvas size to, with the, I think the relative box clicked and then just put in like a 0.1 inch uh, uh -huh. border of white and then uh, repeat the thing with a black edge. I do that so that, like, if we've got a black screen, it'll have the white board uh -huh. on it so the edge of my image doesn't yeah. drift off into the yes. background screen. Uh -huh. So but it comes up. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, at least on mine, because I, I yeah. 
Excellent. Yeah, I used inches all the time. Yeah, yeah. changed it to like, let's say two inches. And, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, to get the, the full border, uh, yeah. do that. Uh, and then we're and, the other thing is you can you can do it, you know, like if you want to extend the bottom, you can move this up to here and it'll extend it out that way. But if you keep it in the center, it does it all the way around. So let's yeah. just do that. Yeah. See, so you, got, you got that now. Yeah. Just... Uh, now, it's good usually to check the image size because sometimes when you open something up, uh, Photoshop will open it up at 72 DPI, which means you've got a, like a 57 by 39 inch image. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, what I do at that point is I change that to like 16 inches on the longest side and 12, it'll come out 12 or whatever uh, the other way. And then that if I, that makes it easier to decide how wide to make the border, like, mm -hmm. like uh, Sandy just did two inches. Uh, and if you've got the relative box checked, it'll just do it all around. Or I think the following picture, I just had the tenth of an inch, just a little fine line to make a border. But same procedure using the canvas size tool mm -hmm. for that. And then the corners you just do with uh, line art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line tool just to make it look like it was a oil a wooden painting. Tape. Yeah, yeah. Or a wooden frame. Yeah. So down here you got a, a shapes layer, or, or you, did you just do it with lines? Uh, I used it the line tool. Uh, yeah. So if you go to path, yeah. Uh, then you just I guess make four different lines. Yeah. And just stroke them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it so, gives your so, image a security perimeter. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right? So it preserves yeah. the integrity of your composition completely. It's uh, a smart yeah. idea. Yeah. It, uh, whatever way, you, this one is using like the tenth of an inch white and then a tenth inch black around it, which disappears. But anyway, that's just so I can kind of control. Uh, what's within the yeah. the frame. Yeah. That's so, nice. This one the is... Two also has that same function that you can do mats and do color picking and all that stuff. You get color you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can uh, do that because it gives you a choice of black, white, gray, or uh, foreground or background color, or you can go all the way to other colors, it'll give a whole palette to work with. So you can play around to get the tone you want. That uh, I do quite a bit. Now, this one is in, in Carmel, and it's the famous butterfly house right on the coast, built in the early 1950s. And I've done black and white of this, which I like, but I did like the green of the ice plant in the foreground and then drifting to the kind of grayish blue of the ocean and then onto the brown rocks. And so I thought it also made a good color image. And this was just Lightroom and Photoshop. To I don't remember what all I played with. I probably darkened in the rocks somewhat mm -hmm. in spots and uh, darkened the sky. Is, is that an actual sky? Uh, this one is. This is what was there. It was a cloudy day. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I probably took the masking uh, linear gradient tool down from the top to darken the top edge a little more. So, uh, but that's probably all I did with the sky. I did not do a, T, a D haze because I kind of liked having that far shore fuzzy like it is. And, a little bit obscured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was trying to figure out that far shore. Is this a bay wrapping around? Uh, yes, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, just... Because uh, there's land on both sides. Of yeah, yeah, but it is, uh, what you see of the water is part of... Uh, actually, it's not exactly Monterey Bay. I guess it's the ocean mm -hmm. itself, I think, at that point. But uh, I sure anyways. want to go down to Carmel. Oh, yeah. After I, seeing all your Carmel pictures. 
Yeah, it, uh, if I had to pick a favorite place in the world, I think it would be the Carmel's your spot. Yeah, or the whole Monterey Peninsula, mm -hmm. Point Lobos, and on down. Oh Big yeah, Sur. Point Lobos. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been there. Oh yeah, that. Uh, that's, that's the a, famous Edward West on stop for the erosion on the rocks and all that. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, that, yeah. Uh, he and Ansel Adams did a lot there. Oh yeah. Some someone, I guess, a writer had a quote of something of the effect that that was the finest meeting of land and sea in America or something At like Point that. At Point Lobos? Yeah. Yeah, so, it's beautiful there. It is. People in Northwest or in Maine probably would argue. <laughs> <laughs> but this is certainly nice and it's within reasonable driving distance. Mm -hmm. So Anyway, now I've done my pitch for the Monterey Peninsula Visitor <laughs> Bureau. <laughs> Wow, look at that. This is a little back alley uh, shopping thing in Carmel, right in the downtown. Nice. And I did this first in black and white, but uh, because I just liked all the lines and shapes, but the yeah, colors were unique. Yeah. And this I did use uh, Topaz line and ink preset at 80%. I backed off from the full. 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, that produced the uh, pastel colors in it that I, I liked. And I did use Photoshop a little for touch up, but mm -hmm. mostly this is what the Topaz did. Yeah, that pink really pops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pop and then, pink. Yeah. That, uh, nice one, Wendell. Really nice. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you. My eye keeps going up here to one. Uh -oh. uh, I was wondering the <laughs> yeah. same. Is there a lady in the window or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting close. It just looked like a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Uh, Looks a little like a Coco Pelli. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then to the right, there's just kind of a pile of <laughs> sticks or something. Stuff. Yeah. I don't know that it's reflecting anything. Textures uh, are awesome. <laughs> that's interesting sandy when you zoomed in more detail comes out it it's amazing yeah 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 you get a lot of texture and stuff. yeah 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 a lot of that comes from the line and ink wendell are you shooting in raw or yes yes i am so it's got all this detail all yeah right. wow look at that yeah. okay this is up in alan's neck of the woods uh this is in southern British Columbia. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Nemo Falls. Nemo. And so wow. walk up from Slocan Lake. And it, I did had to do a lot in Lightroom on it, mostly using, using masking to lighten up the greens on the moss on the left side. They came out too dark. And then I had to darken some of the rocks on the right yeah. that were in the sun. But so, nice spot, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's, nice. It's, it's a nice little quarter mile hike from up from the shore of the lake. Okay. I don't think it's accessible by car. I think you have to go in by boat to the beach. Oh, can you can you swim here? Uh, uh, or I can, can. would it be dangerous? <laughs> you can't. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I think you would well, need a wetsuit. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's really cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah cold water. <laughs> cold water. I, from any town, you'd probably have to swim a few miles. <laughs> Better just to photograph it than try to swim. <laughs> oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, take a boat. What uh, What lake was that on? Uh, Slocan Lake. Uh, it's a long lake. Uh, Oh, I don't know, it's 20 miles long or something like that, I'm guessing. Uh, it's about within 100 miles of the U.S. border, uh, right north of Spokane, Washington. All right. Drove straight up from Spokane. Really? We stayed in New Denver. There's a little town up there. Uh, we had friends up there that invited us up and showed us all the wonders of Canada. Well, Gorgeous. not all of them, but... <laughs> A lot of them. Nice. Anyway, it was nice. Nice spot. In BC area? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Wendell. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very good. I like your variety of color palettes from the Technicolor to <laughs> yeah. a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's reading the Photoshop one. That's yeah. There it is. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, we'll come to that one for sure. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me just hide that real quick. All right. So let's. Uh... Wow. Yeah, they had, uh, it was uh, Porsche's 75th uh, anniversary. Oh. And they had a little, they had a little uh, a show on here in Calgary last week. So. Oh, oh that's it. nice. Was it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this a speedster. Uh, it is, yeah. It is. Yeah. Wow. 1958 or something. Yeah. So yeah. a couple of things uh, I did on this was I, I I changed the windshield to this white color because it was it was uh oh. it was it wasn't all that great yeah. the way it was originally. And then typically uh. what I would have done also, just like you did with the, the back background, I like putting a nice black background to these but as i was doing it um I, I was just playing with the with the amount of uh exposure and i left it the way it was because it, i thought it mm. a kind of a i don't know a kind of yeah. post type look to it right yeah. so with being able to see some of the background mm -hmm. yeah give it a context or a location yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so busy. Yeah, and then all the all the reflections on the car itself. Is... Yeah, I love the people reflected in the car down yeah. near the bumper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, through here, yeah. Yeah. It almost looks like a little UFO or something up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I like making that windshield white because I've done mm -hmm. pictures like this and had. People or cars or trees. Yeah. I don't remember through. what it, it just. It didn't look right. That's why yeah, I changed yeah. it. Yeah. That, that, what that What do you guys nice. think of the background? I, I kind of. I thought that was a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, you're yeah that's great. Yeah. yeah, especially having the other car there to the side, mm -hmm. the right side. They had. Uh, there must have been. There must have been well over a hundred and fifty cars here. Oh wow. Mm. And uh, I can't, I can't imagine how much money was in that parking lot. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. 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 Uh, uh. Oh, neat! Wow, what this? Yeah. yeah These so, angles are amazing, Alan. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's sure. Yeah. I just again, I, I kind of kept the theme of the background being slightly, yeah, just there and no more, right? So, mm -hmm. Is that the same car that we just saw? No, that's a different no, no. one. Okay, yeah. yeah. I like the background. I like the fact that you you have darkened it down, yeah, so it doesn't jump out at you, but you still yeah. get a so feeling of place, and it just kind of adds, yeah, to it. That's a great uh, solution for the big problem of these car shows with people and cars. Mm -hmm. I, did have to, I did take out somebody's head. I had somebody's head. In. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you come to these and you got these gorgeous cars you want to shoot, and there's all this stuff going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. so it's nice to yeah. just yeah. take all that out of there. It's a good, good idea. Good way to solve that problem. Oh. Mm. As you can see, I was in my, I was in the car, in the car mode this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this one was from California. See that? Yeah. Really? <laughs> With a nineteen fifty five license plate. Yeah. So Alan, on the technology of this, did you gray out everything else? No, I just I selected the subject, which was the car, obviously, and uh, made a mask for the background. A mask, and yeah. Okay. The exposure down on the background until I got this kind of look. So. Yeah. Okay. It cannot. It cannot. The background 
fits with the age of the of the car somehow, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's... Yeah, that guy's hat. <laughs> I yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 50s. <laughs> Where's your martini? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely cars. Oh. And this is the one I really like. This one I really like this car. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new one. So yeah. but I, I just love the, the colors and the shape and everything else. You know? Yeah. Now this um sorry. I'm wondering if you're gonna snap this up in here a little bit. Snap it up a bit. Can yeah, it's it's there's a little it's, concerned it's, about that. See that yellow uh-huh. Yeah, like, that stuff, yeah. That was putting me off. And I tried to take that out and I wasn't very successful. So I just decided to leave it. Yeah. I'm wondering if you ought to I, I don't know if uh um the content or if Phil would do it or to or the generative film. Yeah. Well that might be something that's right. But maybe what you can do is just kind of snap this area up a bit. Um let's just Camera, and I'm just going to quickly paint something there. Oops. Yeah, pretty big mask off. Yeah, close enough. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we'll start with a little clarity and just see what that does. That might just Ooh. be. Enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little of that. Gotcha. Maybe just a little texture. Yeah, texture's bringing up all the dirt. We'll leave that alone. Um, yeah, I'd leave it maybe just a hair of dehaze. And then you could go into. If you know how to use curves, you might want to oh, look at just, that. Just get a little bit of contrast oh. that way. Wow. Holy macro, what a difference. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then maybe you can take some of that highlight down, get a little more detail in it, and bring your white spot. Yeah. yeah. You know? oh. I'm liking yeah. this. Yeah. What the difference? I know, you know what? Unbelievable. That, that doesn't bother me too much now. That little um, reflection up there. Yeah, yeah. These work real well. This one might be the only culprit. Yeah. You know, and for that one, let's let's just see if we, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be too complex for generative fill, but let's just yeah. see what it does. Just to test the old abilities here. I'm not going to say what I wanted to do. Let's just see if we can figure it out on its own. Because you got all this stuff going on here and then all this yeah. works. Not Unbelievable. Not yeah. at all. Hey, Unbelievable, oh, Sandy. Three choices. Let's see. You got that one. Yeah, that might even be better. And then let's see the third one. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I think I like three. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Sandy, could you go back and show me where the uh, fill was? Where the generative, it's in Photoshop beta. You have to download that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, the, if you use beta, it's got this little floaty guy. Right. Mm -hmm. Just kind of there, and all you have to do is take your lasso or or any selection tool and yeah. just select the area you want, you know, and and then you just tap this generative fill. Oh, uh, okay. Go. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, so yeah. So basically, we've got... well, I'm going to be I'm going to be fixing that right right after. This. <laughs> You're very busy tonight. <laughs> yeah. That goes from here to here. Yeah, I think that, that makes a big difference. Well, it looks like the other one had cataracts. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I used to work on a lot of cars. So. Oh, thanks. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, while we're here, let's look at this guy. 
Okay, so this one I sent I sent the Photoshop and in this one because if yeah, you stuff turn going, off yeah. all the layers, it sh it will show you this is okay. what you got, and I really like this. But what I wanted to do was put some movement into the wheel, mm. which I did do, yeah. but then then it kind of oh, screwed, wow. screwed up the brake. Uh, disc. so I was in there trying to straighten that out, which I did some of it, but it's still not perfect. And then I thought I'd add some smoke to the <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, the I tires burning out. <laughs> okay, that works. Green rubber, okay. burning rubber. Oh, and then wow. and then you knock the people out up here. Yes, then I knock the people out up there. Now. Good, good. Now, um. I don't know if the smoke's in the right spot, though. No, it's in. Yeah, I would think of maybe flipping this around. Um, you know, you can just grab this and then twirl it, just straighten it up. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the logo is reading correctly. Right. You got Michelin up there pretty well. So. Yeah. 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 So just you know, grab this with a. Just Turn it around. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then just just transform it to where you want. Nice. Neat shots, Alan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it took me a while to do that. So really did. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. nice. Not five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Okay. Let's go off the cars. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's yeah. fun. It's, it's not a car. <laughs> <laughs> this is a street performer up in the university district. So mm. it's uh, blowing bubbles. So yeah. huge, nice. huge bubbles. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just thought the expression was was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alan, do you have um, Neo? I can't remember. Yes. Yeah. You do. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I would take this in the nail and just kind of punch it up a bit. Let's do that. Okay, so I would uh, go right to edit and not use the presets because that's yeah. just the way I work. And, you know, I used to go to enhance first, but lately I've been going to structure first. Okay. And then just kind of kick it in there and see what it does. I don't mind what it's doing to the background. Sometimes I'll I'll just paint it in with a mask to where I want it, but I think I like right. it everywhere on this one. So basically there's your before and after. Yeah. And it just kind of punches mm. things up. And then I go to enhance and see if it's adding anymore. See, here it's just kind of lightening everything, uh, things I don't want it to do. So I'll just leave it alone. And uh, maybe play around with the relight a little bit. Let's see. Um, let's just see if that takes her down a little bit. Yeah, okay. So we're going to leave her up a little and see if we can take the background back down a bit. There we go. Yeah. And then with your depth, you can kind of go back and forth to see where it... Yeah. I kind of... I, I de, um... I took the color out of the of the background. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That works. Do you yeah. know what your shutter speed was on that, Alan? No, I don't think it was all that fast. Maybe 250. Okay. I'm just to get the the both the bubble that's suspended and then the bubble yeah, that's see, she's yeah. creating. It just yeah. yeah. I'm seeing a little artifact here from this. Okay. So what I can do is just take a brush and do an erase. Where, where did you see that? See this, this, yeah, right there. Oh, okay. So I would just maybe just take that out of it, or maybe what's happening is um, for some reason it masks that. You know what? Let's try just adding and see what happens. Yeah, I think it's something that it created in its own mask. Let's see if that gets mm. oh, I didn't do it. Yeah, we want to erase it. Okay, so we're just going to just kind of, yeah, just take the edge off of it. Mm. 
Now, there was a, <laughs> I'll tell you something about this one. There was, uh, in the background, it looked, when it was a little bit lighter, it looked like her breath was coming out and going into the bubble. Oh. And I actually, I toned that down a little bit. I was trying to make it look like that's what was happening earlier. Mm -hmm. And it, um, I, thought, I thought that was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. but I did tone it back down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just wonder if there's anything else that might. I, I usually use landscape. So now that we have a person, let's see what it does with the face here. There's a face light, which kind of brightens the face up slightly. You can slim the face if you wanted to, although I think that's more. Yeah, I don't think I like that much. I'll leave that alone. Um, you can get into the eyes. Um, maybe you might want to enlarge them a little bit. Yeah. You can widen them up a little. I don't know what this enhancer does. Let's see. Yeah, kind of makes it a little sharper around the eye. Yeah. So that might be something to play around with a little bit. Let's see if I'll grab a mouth on the... Maybe get a little more saturation in the lips. Yeah, doesn't do much. And of course, you, if the skin is a problem, if there's a lot of, you know, um, color shifting on the skin, you know, red spots and things like that, you, you can use that. And the body can slimmer down. You know, there's all kinds of things you can play with here. Yeah. If you like. But, uh, yeah, I think that helped it out a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Nice. Welcome. Thanks for bringing them in. Um, those are nice. Okay, Dave, you're up. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay. Starting with this one, Sandy, this is my first digitally altered photograph. So I've crossed that threshold. <laughs> <laughs> it it was, uh, right. Good you yeah. know, a relatively... Yeah, right. No going back, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the slippery slope. You know, uh, relatively not so good of a picture. And I plucked it out of obscurity on my files. And my wife had a digital alteration program up in the cloud. It's called Be Funky. And she clicked the button and I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, I really couldn't believe it. Um, Good. Sandy, yeah. it's saleable art one click away. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it's very inspirational. Um, it's I'm amazed at what these programs can do. So yeah. that's my yeah. first one in this class. Okay. Good. That's a century plant down at uh, Desert Meadows Garden. Yeah, what sure. I like about it, you know, uh, is the rhythmic S curves like mm -hmm. it's like a roller coaster, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I was loading these in this morning. And I said, I don't think that's a camera feature that he's got. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a program called Be Funky, yeah. and it's a graphic novel yeah. choice. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, good for you. All right, let's see this next one here. Oh, neat. Nice. Here's a shot down in two back, looking through a window of a Chotsky shop. Um, I think it's beautiful the way the light was coming through the curtain. I call this mm -hmm. the curtain. And I love the little icons, the whiskey jug, mm -hmm. the crown, the heart. So um, I, need. I wanted mm -hmm. to share this with you guys. I think mm -hmm. it's... Beautiful yeah. color. Yeah. I like the reflections from the glass. Yeah. You got this yeah. positive negative thing going on here. Yeah. yeah. Kind of fun. That's yeah. down in two back. Mm -hmm. 
Sandy, yeah. we've been talking about graffiti. Here's an interesting piece of graffiti. Yeah, fun. It's frozen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows it rains in Seattle, but it also snows. And mm-hmm. so when I was living there, I'd I'd go out. This was obviously during the thaw of the snow. And I saw this graffiti reflected in the water on the ground. Really good. Oh, like well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh. it's a reflection off the wall. The whole wall was graffiti. Uh, the snow that. was melting. It's kind of graffiti slushy. <laughs> <laughs> like what's going on here, and then all yeah. the yeah. yeah, the lines, right? Yeah. 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 Well, that's and a good catch to you know yeah. spot yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's a good catch. Yeah. You should print. You should print this on metal. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That would look really good. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. Here's a beautiful hibiscus straight out of the camera, no cropping, no program, kind mm-hmm. of a Georgia Keefe close up. Mm-hmm. I love the color. Mm-hmm. I might put this into a program and see what it does oil <laughs> painting or something. Yeah. Degas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. So I like that one. Okay. That is pretty program. Nice. Oh. Here's a nice shot. Uh, this is down in Bisbee. Uh, sunset time. This is out in front of a pizza parlor mm-hmm. in Bisbee. And this mm. is uh, really, it's the color of the sunset. I don't know how I got so lucky. Uh, one <laughs> minute later, it was gone. You uh-huh. know, oh, yeah. I rushed yeah. away. We were waiting for the pizza to come, and I saw this happening, and I rushed out uh, mm. and snapped this picture. Very good, good deal. Mm-hmm. Another good catch. Yeah. Nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Jim Murphy, I think that's it, right? Oh, I like that, Jim. Wow. Oh. This is nothing, nothing spectacular, but uh, I was testing out my bug eye autofocus on my new camera. Oh. Wow. Yeah. So it, it draws a little green box around the bug, uh, bug and then tries to find the eye. Oh. So. And it's not perfect. It it misses a lot of times, but sometimes it nails it really nice. Mm-hmm. What camera did you get? The Sony A7R5. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah that's a, with a 600 millimeter. Oh, wow. Is that Sony's mirrorless? Yeah, it's a mirrorless, right? Mirrorless, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, what kind of speed were you using there, Jim? Say again, Alan. What kind of speed were you using there? Well, uh, probably one twelve fiftieth. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can usually get about nine out of nine uh, handheld. This was handheld. Yeah. Uh, sure. Unbelievable. At one twelve fiftieth, I go below that, and my returns get a lot lower. Mm. It's got stabilization in it as well, though, right? The camera? It does, yes, it does. Lately, I've been turning it off quite a bit and getting good results as well, too. So depending on what the shutter speed. Yeah. I love the texture. I mean, I know the, the, the butterfly is awesome, but the texture and the oh my gosh. Is pretty amazing yeah. as well. Yeah. Very nice. Bug it's eye on it. This, wow. this is hand, hand about 12 feet away. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I'm about 10, 12 feet from that. And I had to, I cropped it up because, you know, depth of field was the wings were tips were way out of focus. Mm. But you can see all the little hair is pretty unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Yes, for sure. Unbelievable, James. Oh, that's a nice one. And I like this green glow behind him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. There's a flower in a swamp. I like. I just liked it because it's kind of anatomical in a way. So. Mm. Mm. It's uh, wondering if you got an alien pod or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This impression here almost looks like it was made by this. Yeah. <laughs> flipped over. Uh -huh. hmm. Interesting. I, I cropped it up. They had more of the flower, but I just kind of cropped into the central part. I wonder maybe this petal was rolled shut and then it opened in the day and left that impression or something. I don't know. Although it's probably bigger than the yeah. piece, but it almost looks like it was made for it. It's great. And this wow. I just kind of this is these are railroad ties in a, in a big stack oh. and I oh. I just kind of solarized it and up the saturation basically. Mm -hmm. Wow, what's this piece here? That's just a metal on the end of the, I don't know some some of the boards some of, some of the railroad ties had these metal things nailed to the ends for whatever oh. reason I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe to hold a crack from spreading. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's preferred to let oh. the water out. Yeah. Oh. That's, That's awesome. very fi uh, fine art photography. Yeah. You got you got your Jackson Pollock drips. <laughs> and, uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> Thought of it that way, but yeah. 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 It's I really wonderful. Card or, or what they used for um, uh, what you call it um, DNA sampling. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Good Sci composition cover. too. Yeah, sci-fi cover. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Clone yourself. All right. Mm. About the third picture of this mountain that I showed, but uh, is that bigger? So this one uh, was, was sort of fun. So I just this is generative AI, mm. and I just said uh, inverted reflection in the. No, I said mirror reflection in in a lake. Really? So I left the imperfections in there. Just, just did you know? You can see some prob problem things in the lake, but uh, I just left them in just, just to show what it was like. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. I would that little white streak. I would have taken that out. Mm -hmm. The thing at the bottom, the little black curve thing, I would take mm -hmm. out and so forth. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, that's what the that's what the generative did. And it give it gives that kind of you know water texture to it. Mm. Um, the first time I did it, I said mirror image of the mountain inverted, and the second image I got was a, actually a round mirror <laughs> <laughs> sitting down <laughs> in the bottom part. Of the <laughs> so it doesn't know he's knocking out of the ballpark. It was kind of <laughs> literal sometimes. <laughs> Literally had a mirror in the in the bottom part. But uh, I think this looks, you know, semi-realistic. Also, yeah. that, on yeah. the left, that bright white line, I would tone that down too. But yeah. yeah, there's just there's some problems. But you know, it's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. Do you Did have they have skiing on Mount Baker? Oh yes, they they get more snow there than just about uh, any other mountain. In earlier snow, a lot of times too. Um, you know, it gets the snow. I don't remember how deep it gets. It gets quite, quite deep up there. So there's lots of, lots of skiing and snowboarding. Snowboarding nice. actually started on Mount Baker as, uh, back, back in the day. That's where snowboarding came from. Cool. Well, thanks. Nice, amazing That's stuff. Fun. That's fun. What you see? Have we got everybody here. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. All right, let me uh, pick up some stuff. I was playing with doors. Doors in Italy. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, mostly little towns. Hmm. Mm. 
that arch glass again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that like you probably wouldn't know if that was into a house or into a courtyard again, same? Yeah. That last one. Oh, this one? No, the one before. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, this. No, the, 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 the next one. This one. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if this was a reflection or if there was a courtyard there. I, I don't uh, yeah. Remember. Yeah. I would guess probably it goes into the house. I think this is yeah. a, a mm. great type path where there was just homes on both sides. But mm. Yeah, and that's a, an awning above the door. I guess. Yeah. First, I thought it was a window. That awning? That's, that's what I thought, or a light. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had no idea. It, it's more in the horizontal than vertical. Oh, okay. The uh, the wide angle kind of distorted it up a bit. So yeah. that's a, that's the doorway. That so that's a staircase right in front of the doorway. Yeah, actually, that's, that's the right going up. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of them are just you know they flatten yeah. out the uh, entrance, and you got to kind of step off the. To be kind of careful coming out. Yeah. Yeah. I should want to come home too, tipsy. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> or leave too tipsy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to work out again. <laughs> this guy, I guess, with his lucky horseshoe. Mm -hmm. I love the fancy, I noticed on the previous one, the fancy mail slots. Uh huh. Yeah, they, oh. yeah. The, That's well, what I'm assuming the it mail is. Slots, yeah. You know, the the address placards, yeah. They have a lot of fun, and then they always yeah. put flowers around. This one's a little, oh yeah, just a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. So you didn't go knocking on any of them, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that old flower around. I don't remember who was this town and, and tap me on the shoulder and he took a picture, of, you know, made the gesture. And I said, sure. And I thought you might me to take a picture of him. And then he turned around and said, he goes, come on. And so I followed him and he took me back. He wanted a picture of the interior of his house. <laughs> so, oh, oh, wow. Kind of fun. Yeah. Hmm. He invited me in for that. Hmm. That's a nice composition. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, a lot going on, old, new. Yeah, the mm -hmm. chicken wire up on top there for the vent. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like the weathered look of that door. Yeah, everything's pretty weathered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Some of these towns are really, really old. What kind of, do, do you have an idea how old they are? Or? No. Uh, we don't. Just another pretty yeah. ancient. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can see the weathering on a lot of these. A lot it's of really abandoned good. buildings, too, uh, everywhere. You know, cities, country, just amazing. What is that up in the upper left? In the upper yeah. left? That's probably the address. That. Yeah, that's worn out. Looks hmm. like the address number. Yeah. I think it was okay. 50 or 58 or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But they've got their they've got their modern cable going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can't live without that. That's right. And this, oh, this is cool. for sale, I think, at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Sandy, I'm looking at all of these and the structures and the build outs from different times, and their permit process has got to be a lot less. <laughs> strict yeah. than in America, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. And I mean, it's just codes, almost yeah. do it yourself, you know. Yeah. What a... And then, oops, let me uh, go back. I, I I was up in Madeira too. I I just got a a new camera for traveling and uh, to replace my old M6, and I thought I'd test it out and see how it did on flying. Uh, bird wow! Wow! And, so. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, it did a nice job. Yeah. What did you get there? Uh, it was up in Madeira. Oh, what camera did you get? 
Oh, what did I get? I bought the Canon R7. Oh, I, really? I just got that. Yeah. I, I've I was been looking at online about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, you know, B&H lets you return things in 30 days. So I, mm. I bought the seven and the eight because I couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted the full frame or the or the uh, APC chip. And um, I found the seven did a really good job. It has more resolution, uh, even though uh -huh. it's a bigger chip. And the dynamic range wasn't that much different. The only thing I really noticed uh, was the noise. If you had really high ISO in, in a really dark area, um, the full frame did a better job. Mm. But uh, Is that a mirrorless also, Santa? Yeah. yeah. Mm. They're all going to mirrorless now, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. The M6 I, I, I had or I have the replacing this with, because it's a nice light camera uh, compared to the R5. Um, that was a nice one, too. And it was basically the, the same uh, chip. Uh, well, they've updated the uh, processor on this mm -hmm. one. And this will take all my R RF lenses. So I can, I can use all the R5 lenses on it, too. So you know, and you can't beat the price of the R7. Yeah. I mean, it's so reasonable. I mean, it like, is. what, $1,400 or something. Yeah, uh, and then um, I got it with yeah. a 18 to 150 kit lens, which is uh, mainly a three, uh, you know, the, the small chip variety lens, uh, which only added like another 300 bucks to it. So that wasn't bad. Yeah, so yeah. Around, I think it was an ounce more than the M6 that I'm, I'm going to get rid of. And now I can use all my R lenses and use it as a second body if I want. Nice. And B&H uh, ships it to your doorstep? Yep. Nice. Yeah, they're out of New York. And just order yeah. it. And uh, if, you, if you don't like it in the first 30 days, for whatever reason, you just send it back. Wow. So I, I, they're they're great. Um, I had uh, that, the first one they sent, there was a, a shutter problem. And uh, that, they will do a video uh, conference with you, their tech support. And like, and I had to, he said, oh, you got to send this back. <laughs> so, um, and they were great about it, you know. Um, so I, I don't buy anything anywhere else now, but B&H. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah, especially for cameras. You know, B&H also has a lot of uh, photography seminars and stuff online and on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of talks, famous photographers and yeah, really tutorials good. and stuff yeah 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 and they have a lot of technical data on the the cameras or whatever you might be looking at it seemed like too to compare yeah amazing hummingbird yeah, yeah. beautiful color yeah wow yeah. Oh, wow. That contrasting stuff uh, yeah. There was an older gentleman up there that brought this little handheld cup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> feeding them, so that was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sandy, were you at the turkey place? No, the, the yeah, gift store. There. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Lodge. Yeah, Lodge by the gift shop there. Uh huh. There are more hummingbirds, I think, than I've ever seen there because it was so warm out. Um, there's probably like a 40 or 50 of them. There's wow. Really, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. So, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh. oh that's... that's that's cool. I like that. Yeah. It gives you, yeah. truly gives you the sense of the size of the bird. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And then we cut this. <laughs> oh, but the bear. Yeah, yeah. Mama was around somewhere then. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Mama yeah. saw. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see her anywhere. I, I huh. this guy. Somebody thought he was older and just malnourished. Yeah, but his hair is matted. Yeah. yeah. Still shedding quite a bit of the coat and on the mm. other side. He was, he was, he had a oh. bunch of fur that was coming off. And, mm. yeah, he's still shedding that heavy winter coat. Sandy, so, actually, Sandy, we have brown bears in Madeira, brown bears, brown not bears. black bears. Yeah, yeah. brown. So, 
that's what his code's going to look like when the rest of this goes. But, uh, yeah. It's just what you need, a nice fur coat when it's 100. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I got to go. So uh, see you next time. Every other week, right, Sandy? Yes. yes. Okay. Good work. Cool. See ya. See you, Lori. Cool. See you later. See you later, everybody. Good work, cool. everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you.